Hello Internet, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 19. This is an episode of Figuring Out My Life. I am your host, Abby, and today we have two special guests to introduce you to. It says here we have Abby. Hello. And Abby. Yes, hi. Okay, uh, so let's get to know you guys a little bit better. Tell me a little bit about yourselves. Great, so like we said, I'm Abby. I'm a 25-year-old graduate student. I'm currently getting my master's in teaching, and I plan to teach high school biology after I graduate. Very nice. And you? I'm also Abby, 25 years old. I've been making videos on the internet for almost four years now. I'm involved in a few online communities, and I would love to eventually work with a team on an educational internet series. Interesting. What would you consider your main focus to be at the moment? Well, right now I'm focusing on how to become a better teacher. I'm spending a lot of time in the classroom trying to figure out how to make my instruction better so that I can reach all of my kids, especially those who just aren't successful with the traditional style of teaching. What do you mean by that? You know, kids are all really different, and it's hard to get a lot of them interested in learning when you have a teacher standing up there droning on and on and expecting the students to take notes. I'm trying to get my students to do more hands-on activities and really get them involved in their own learning. And what about you? I've been working on developing my video production skills and building my community. I keep trying to start projects that will help me learn new things and get better at making videos. I've also been working over the past year to build relationships with other creators and to start a dialogue with my audience. How do you do that? I really like to make videos that get people thinking. I like to end each video with a question that people can respond to, and then I like to comment back to those responses. I've also been making an effort to watch and interact with content from other creators. It sounds like you both are putting a lot of work into what you're passionate about. If it all pays off, where do you see yourself a few years in the future? I think I'd still like to be teaching, but I also want to help work on developing effective science curriculum. We have a big problem with scientific literacy in the US, and I feel like it all starts with kids and making them more critical consumers of information. I'd like to work to develop ways to encourage students creativity and curiosity while also working on their critical thinking skills. While that sounds great, I think that there's a lot that can be done outside of school to get people excited about science and learning new things. I'd really like to develop my video production skills enough to get involved with making content that gets people excited about learning new things and having new experiences and generally becoming better informed about the world around them. Wow, you both are very ambitious. What challenges do you face? Her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean? I would have so much more time to develop my skills, work on my graduate work, and get better informed about the current state of education if she wasn't spending so much time editing her little videos and responding to comments. I take too much time? What about you? You're always writing this paper, planning this lesson. I don't even have time to watch everyone's videos anymore. How am I supposed to make connections? You're being silly. It's not even a real job. No, you're being silly. You always say all of these things about changing the education world, but it's so stuck in its ways that you're never going to change anything from the inside. Well, at least I talk to real people on a regular basis. Every single person I talk to is real. Just because they're not in the same room as me doesn't mean that they're not important and worth my time. Oh my god, they that all doesn't have even such make any sense. Like, both of you, please calm down. I'm sorry. It's just that I try to tell people what I'm doing with my life. I just never tell anybody what she's doing. Yeah, it's like we're living a double life. Life, like we're split down the middle. Everyone sees one or the other of us, but rarely does anyone ever see both. It'd be great if we could find some way to combine what we're doing. We just haven't figured out how to yet. One of us always misses out. That is quite the conundrum. It sounds like it might take some time for the both of you to figure out how to best work together. I know, let's get everyone's opinions. Oh no, here she goes. Let us know down in the comments if you have any advice for us about navigating this double life. Does this mean you're gonna have to spend even more time answering comments? Yep. But hey, at least you have some time off of school. Now it's my time to shine. On that note, I guess we're gonna sign off here. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Oh.